Okay, that sub quest is called Pure Emerald. Today we're going to the playground because the playground is just that. Uh, uh, So, does anyone want to say anything? I don't, I didn't plan anything. What are we going to call it? What, what are, what, oh yeah, let's play multiverse. Emerald, do you want to play multiverse? You're not the best at video games, but like... Wait, what would the teams be? Well, what's your oh. favorite cartoon character from Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers and whatnot? Hmm. That isn't uh, Harry Potter or Warner Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to see Harry Potter. Yeah, that would be good. Ariota in uh, multiverse. multiverse. Yeah. Maybe you, you don't know. Like they added loads. They well, added loads. They added like five back when we played it. It's been like a year, so they've added a lot. It's been a year, Nanny. I'm really, really missing. Um, I'm they paying my classes. They've added a lot more. Like it could scroll down and scroll to the side for a while. All right. Uh, I the last person I knew that uh, uh, joined was Rick. Joined what? Uh, the last person I knew that joined was Rick. There was Morty and now there's Rick oh. Sanchez. Rick is probably I the best. I had no idea who he was yeah. back then. You didn't? No. You didn't I, know I was what like, Rick. I didn't know he was in that game at all. I just thought he was some guy. I had no idea what he was at all. You didn't know about Rick and Morty back then? Yeah, you only watched it like last year. Yeah, but I knew who he was. I mean, like, now I know a lot about him. Yeah, that's what she said. What? Um. Do you know the mom's name? Beth. No, the other mom. The Beth's other mom. mom? The Beth mom. Oh, Beth has a mom? Yeah. The dead. Uh, yeah, the dead mom. Oh. Susan? Is that her name? No, I swear to God, that's her name. That's her name, guys, right? Susan. Suzanne? I, I don't know. Tarzan? So, enough about Rick and everyone else in Rick and Morty. Morty's like the worst character though. Yeah, he's so bad in most universe. Yeah, and in the show. But but my least favorite character is probably Beth. In the show? Yeah, Beth is the worst character. What about Space Beth? Space Beth is also bad. Oh, yeah. Anyway, as I said, enough. So, what, what other good Wait, characters are there? Good. Harry Potter might actually be in multiverse. Yeah, it might. Probably not, I would have known. Like Harry Potter. Oh, oh, oh I, have a, I have a theory about it. He's either going to be the most overpowered person ever or the weakest. He's going to have a spell on us and stun them for half a second. Yeah. <laughs> like a 20 minute cooldown. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be like a battle cadaver oh, just knocks him back a smidge. Maybe they have Voldemort as well. Yeah, probably. Or Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Dumbledore is like really yeah. powerful. Or maybe one of the other main three. Wait, imagine the one of the upgrades is Philosopher's Stone and basically gives you another life. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't give you another life. Yeah, it makes you like a mortal, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if you're like a mortal. Or just invincible. Or, well, no. You can live forever, except you might be able to still get killed by a sword or something. Yeah, you have to speak a bit louder. You might be able to get killed like that. Yeah. 600 years old. Like the Monkey King, what? Oh, that show is actually kind of bad. The Monkey King was kind of stupid. Did you like the Monkey King? No. Emerald, did you like the Monkey King? Um, well, it was definitely better than the other kinds of movies I watched. It was better than the other movies. It was better than every other show you've ever watched, Emerald Acquired from Ninjago. Early seasons. Do you think Ninjago got better or worse? Worse. Ninjago got so much worse. Ninjago isn't even good anymore. Surely though, the Hands of Time was the last good season. Yeah, that actually was good. Yeah, it was good. The genie guy. Season of the good seasons. It got it was the last. The genie. Didn't the genie come before? Yes, it did. The genie was the last good one, and then the hands of time was all right. Then the other ones yeah, were the worst. The hands of time when they like went looking for Master Wu, that was just eh. yeah, it wasn't the best. Uh, 
at all. It was just the worst. Mm -hmm. It was probably the worst. I didn't really like the very, very start of Ninja yeah, Like, bad. the first episode wasn't the best. It was better than, like... Yeah, the, the first, like, two seasons were kind of bad. Yeah, that got a lot better. Honestly, for some reason, my least favorite episode is probably when Zane got his true potential. Really? Yeah. I love that episode. What do you mean? Those like stupid that. birch trees yeah. turned into things, and then there was, like, clockwork. Or something, and then he was a robot, and it was so bad. How did they? How did they not know he was a robot? I don't know. He was actually an injury. Right and now. how he turned from the ice cream to the titanium ninja. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Like he used to be white, now he's silver. Yeah. He changed back into something way worse, the like the frostbite ninja or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. I don't remember the pink ninja. Oh, the pink ninja was so good. No, it was just like Zane with Kai's... Zane and Kai's clothes were in the same washing machine. Hey, Zane. Oh, yeah. So Zane was the pink ninja. Even though in the movie, the pink ninja is the ninja of the element of surprise. Anyway, which episode is better? The, uh, Emerald. Emerald. Which episode is better, The Rise of the Overlord or The Great Devourer? Except the giant snake. Yes, the giant snake. That uh, made, it made Garmadon evil, though. And Garmadon was one of the best characters before he turned, e before he turned good and bad. The Rise of the Overlord. It's the Overlord. It basically... Actually, the Overlord is part of the reason why Garmadon got worse. As a character. Like, I like Garmadon a lot less now that the Overlord is a big part of the show. He is it, though. Yeah. Garmed on it. It was in season three. No, but when he, when he turned into a dragon, boy turned gold and killed it. That that could have been it. That could have been the end of the entire show. Or just the end of the Overlord. And the Overlord, yeah. But then he had to turn into a robot then. Yeah, and then Zane sacrificed himself. Obviously lived since there can't be anyone dying. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he just got to the island. Yeah. Then the rest just saved him and... Then there, there is dead that like, oh. Nia died in the end. Nia? Oh yeah, Nia died. So she'll probably come back if there's... Oh yeah, she will. So it's either the good ending, like when Zane died, but no, no, then he no, came back. No, 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 no. The wife uh, of Garmadon just stole his hat, got Zane, and just gave it to the brown ninja. But then the brown ninja had no control of the indestructible warriors. Oh. <laughs> he was just like, yo, I, I'm in control of these guys now. Ah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? But then the next few seasons, the next episode, it wasn't talked about or anything. He never wore that hat apart from rarely. And no matter what he did, when not when things were pretty bad in Ninjago, mm -hmm. or new Ninjago, whatever, mm -hmm. they just didn't get the indestructible people. Emerald! Emerald. Bye, subscribe. That's longer than my usual video. Usually I end it at the old bank. Bye, subscribe.